Oof, not the best night of sleep. I was <laughs> up and couldn't fall back to sleep, and as a result of being pretty tired now, I've got sort of a headache. But while I was up, I made a deck in a tired stupor, and I must show you this. <laughs> so this was inspired by yesterday's atrocity of coin flips. No card in this deck uses a coin flip whatsoever. I was gonna make a style of this deck later on, but after yesterday I was like, eh, you know what? I, I think it would be better if I made it today, because <laughs> just to pick fun out of what happened the day before. I've even got stuff like Switch to stop status effects. <laughs> and you know, like switch between Scyther and then switch back. Uh, energy search to pick the energy that I want as well. I thought about doing Here Comes Team Rocket and Rattata Rocket combo, but Rattata Rocket has a coin flip attack, and I was like, no! No coin flips! <laughs> and you also notice that this deck is very beatdown based, so Wigglytuff would have fit in here pretty well as well, but since it's got Lullaby and that's coin flip based, no! No! <laughs> so, I'm also over here by the GR Challenge Machine to give ourselves a little bit of variety here. Oh, you got Red Imakuni here. Because uh, I was getting a lot of repeat opponents at the other Challenge Machine, so I thought I would flop on over here to mix it up. So, let's go ahead and start this one. And cook up the whole dish in, hopefully... No more coin flips of doom. Well, Hitmonchan is definitely going off first then. <laughs> because grass Pokemon versus fire could be a little bit on the iffy side. Just saying. No, oh, Eevee. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, you got the Electabuzz. I thought you thought you had fire or more fire. Well, anyway, I'm going to jab that Eevee in this. <laughs> Maybe I should have looked more at the symbols. Because, as I said, I'm pretty tired here, so I'm not really totally all there, probably, too, so... Oh, energy removal surprise. Uh, Imposter Oak! Oh, no! Oh, no! That reduces my hand size, kinda. I mean, just... <laughs> and I'm gonna go for the Paralysis. Uh, of course. That is a no-go. Oh. Sneeze, bless me. <laughs> and I'm gonna put that on there. I'm gonna use my energy removal and I jab that Electabuzz. Voila! And yeah, I'm pretty sure she is from the fire. So, but yeah, wait, yeah, didn't? I mean, oh yeah, I think she did use lightning. Well, I mean, I guess she does use lightning, as you see in Electabuzz. But <laughs> details, details. Anyway, I win. That <laughs> just kind of worked out in my favor there. Just how things flopped out. In terms of the deck draws, and yeah, she didn't really have much to defend against. Yeah, it was Fire Member. Alright. James is up next. GR number one, unmasked. Let's go. And see if we can battle his grassy grasses of doom. And by the way, I got a lot of basic Pokemon in this deck, so it should be relatively smooth in how things play out. Uh, like, I should have plenty of basic Pokémon in general. Just just how the deck build ended up being overall. I wasn't really going for any particular basic Pokémon amount. It's just that, just that I was aiming for everything that had... No coin flips! <laughs> and you see... The result here. Uh, boss's Way, Dark Ivysaur, I was kind of expecting that. Because he certainly loves to evolve things like that when he has the opportunity and well I got poisoned but well uh, I wonder if I, I wonder if I should try and stop that Ivysaur from Ivysauring you know what I mean uh, I think I'm gonna go energy search into grass and then we're gonna plop that on Scyther as a surprise for a future double colorless energy attack, and call it a turn. Hitmonchan's gonna probably take up poop ton of ener uh, poop ton of damage from the poison as things go on. Oh poop! <laughs> but oh, oh, okay, so now Dark Ivy Sword as I kind of messed up the plan there, but I can up upset another plan here by just energy removing that. 
Um, so actually, you know what? As long as I have Professor Oak, I'll just ruin my surprise and dump everything out. So I can get some more goodies here. Professor Oak, Ivysaur, possible. But Bulbasaur for now. Uh, wow, I'm just getting a whole poop of the scoop. Um, yeah, I already put the energy, so let's finish off the Bulbasaur. And call it a prize card. So then, with this beatdown strategy of no coin flip, can I be defeated? Yeah, probably. I mean, it's <laughs> still possible for me to get bad draws in general, but... But... When it comes to coin flips, that ain't happening, so that's one variable off the table there. And since Haunter's got the fighting resistance, I'm switching over to Scyther just to kind of stop the charade of waiting for more energy to do a lot of damage, well, 10 damage at a time to the Haunter, and just gonna kind of switch over and nick away. Well, there's my Bulbasaur. I can get that going. Sure, sure. And the Haunter gets KO'd. We get the prize. Dark Ivysaur finally hits the field. Uh, maybe I should have actually energy removal that, but I'm tired, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it should be fine. It's not not that big of a threat to Scythe or anything like that, and I'll be able to get something else powered up on the side anyway, so all should be well. He's got energy search of his own there. And disorderly mess. It's got the... <laughs> oh, it, what, it all went to, 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 with a one Pokemon? Really? It's chosen at random. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway. Uh, should I bother with the energy? I think I'll save it as a surprise. Just nick off the Dark Ivy Sorry here. It is, the, surely I couldn't hit the same Pokemon like that twice in a row like that. Could it? Could it? Okay. 10. 10. 10. <laughs> I did hit the same Pokemon. With it. Yeah, it's, it's random. So it shouldn't be that consistent. I mean, geez. Chances of that with what I had out extremely slim. Anyway, I'm gonna plop that on there and finish off the Dark Ivysaur with relative ease. Zubat is the finale. Can I do 40 damage with something on my field? I don't think I can. <laughs> like, I don't have... Oh, wait, wait. Yes, I could. Because I powered up Ivysaur enough. Yes! So, surprise switch, aggro, classic move, for the win. Although, I guess maybe it's not that much of a surprise, because you, you can see what's on the field, after all. <laughs> Alright, Alex is up next. All day and all night, basically. And... That's iffy, but I got Professor Oak, so we might be okay. So the uh, smaller bench is in play, of course, with this game, so... Um, I'll chop... Ooh, Tauros! Well, guess who's retreating the Machop, then, for the aggro strategy? <laughs> Double damage, baby! Yeah, it just kind of worked in my favor there. That's also part of the uh, nice zero retreat cost dealio of combining that with Switch. Like, I just drew Switch there. Like, say Machop got confused or paralyzed or something like that. I switched to Scyther, then free switch back to Machop. And, <laughs> yep. So that's another way of taking out the coin flip luck in the game, I guess you could say. I thought about using full heal, as I mentioned, in the other part, but... Uh, I think I could have gotten more use out of Switch in this particular deck build. So I decided to use Switch because of that, because uh, I figured it could yield a little bit more versatility. I think I'm just going to dump everything on the field here. <laughs> and low kick. Because I'm going to be Professor Oaking soon anyway, so I might as well get them set up for a possible evolution after all. So, get that nice and pretty. I mean, yeah, I did fill up my bench to the max, but this is kind of kind of like everything anyway. So you have Machop and Bulbasaur are the only two that evolved in the Scyther hit my channel, yeah. So, 
I figured that would be just fine. Uh, 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 I, I definitely want an energy or Google, that's for sure, but I'm just trying to think if I want to use Bill or just go this Professor Oak. I think I'll just Bill to see what else I get off this. Okay, so I'll do that. And I'll go Professor Oak. I just wanted to see because I didn't know if I wanted to discard Bill because I could potentially get more cards that I want to play during the turn, or they end up being discards, you know what I mean? Uh, Bill... I already played my energy, so... I think I'll just go ahead and low kick. Call it a turn. He may do the switcheroo... Or not. I, was gonna, I thought he was going to do the switcheroo because... Or just doesn't have energy to do the Sucheru, which makes sense that he can't do the Sucheru. So let's finish off the seal. Yeah, the uh, I only did 10 damage last time because the Growl's effect, but meh. <laughs> uh, now this is a pretty good opportunity to aggro switch into Scyther. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and power up the Ivysaur on the side there. Go ahead and slash. I got, I got a pretty good hand, so I don't feel like Professor Oaking right now. Surfing Pikachu is out to finish the game, maybe, possibly, um, can I, I don't think I can, I was gonna say, can I do something, like switching it to something, then, nah, I think what I'll do, though, is do a sword stance, because that kind of locks him in, into a KO, no matter what, <laughs> Because I'll be able to pull off 60 damage on, yeah. Uh, ooh, well, okay, well, I guess I can't pull off 70 damage, but... <laughs> um, I will definitely go... Oops, that's right, I filled up the bench. I will definitely go for the uh, Slash to do 60, but he's just going to switch again. Well, if he can. But at the very least, I could... Oh, I was going to say, at the very least, I could lock him in that way. Let's just end the game here. <laughs> Voila! So yeah, this is a pretty fast deck, as you can see. <laughs> Aggro like this is one of the top decks in this sort of meta game. But anyway, Claire... <sighs> you know, she's got... She's got the stalls. So, we shall see if I'm able to do the same tactics here. <laughs> Especially since it's got a uh, psychic Pokemon against my fighting as well, but... Um... I should probably Scyther, match up on the bench, match up on the bench. I mean, she's still got uh, colorless Pokémon, so I can still kind of play to those weaknesses. Uh, Slowpoke is a go-go. Wait, I think... did she have color? Yeah, I think she had colorless Pokémon, if I recall correctly. But yeah, the thing about Claire, though, is that it's a very defensive game overall. Yeah, she does have colorless, that's right, it's Kangaskhan. I am so tired. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> Alright, so afternoon nap gets plopped in play. I'm gonna go energy search of grass energy. She's probably not gonna energy removal this because she she doesn't realize that I don't have enough for, for slash. So I'm just gonna sword stance and expect that she's not going to uh, energy removal that. Because I'm gonna go into double colorless energy basically. Yeah, she she only seems to really do the energy removal when she knows I'm able to attack, generally, which is something that I would do as well. Because it kind of throws off the attack power. And slash attack, finish off that slowpoke. Even though I didn't do any damage to it, it's still a finish off, because I set up ahead of time. Uh, the Mr. Mime could be a bit of an issue, because it's got the uh, double damage to my psychic Pokémon. But, take a look at this. It has no resistance, like ghost Pokémon have. Interesting, is it not? So free retreat into Machop. We're not gonna go Hitmonchan because of the retreat cost of Hitmonchan. I just wanna get a bunch of damage done to Mr. Mime as quickly as I possibly can. Energy removal done. Now, now this is an another interesting thing about the aggro strategy. Because a lot of the Pokémon on my side of the field use just one energy card to attack, you know, that 1 for 20 dealio, that's not nearly as impactful as it would be if I'm trying to power up a much more powerful attack because of the uh, issue of 
it takes multiple turns to attach so many energy cards. So she's sucking up all my energy cards to my one energy attackers. That doesn't mean as much of it as if I had a lot more energy requirements. See what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> so that harass is not going to do very much... In just just in general, I mean, yeah, it's gonna knock out the Machop, but I mean, the thing about it is, we got Scyther coming up next there anyway, so... Uh, I wonder if I can pull off... Like, actually, maybe I shouldn't. I was gonna say, I wonder if I can pull off getting a Machoke out, you know, powered up, but... In all honesty, because of the energy removal stuff, I probably should just focus on one critter at a time if at all possible, and preferably Scythers, because they, you know, they don't, they have the, they can get through the, uh, fighting stoppage, basically. Oh, wow, you're not, you don't have any more energy removal. That's good to know. I see. Switch returns to the deck, but I don't even need that, because I got free retreat costs. Um, also Bulbasaur would be nice to focus on, keep continually attacking with, so... I might want to spread things out kind of thinly here, too. So I'm going to go ahead and slash Dark Haunter and grab another prize card. You're probably like, man, I've never seen you grab prize cards as fast as you are versus Claire. And yeah, that's that's the thing about the aggro deck of this sort of style. that It, it takes... I mean, it, it, it just keeps on attacking, you know? <laughs> Regardless of the defensive tactics, it just keeps on going. And slash. Uh, she might be able to continually cause paralysis to my Scyther, but we'll see. Pokemon Breeder to Gengar, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, Doug Gengar, not not just Gengar. But, you, know. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. All right, so she she may be able to shuffle something into my deck. Well, well, she did. Oh, and she got Scyther, and that's, that's okay, because it gets pretty easy to power up, and, oh yeah, <laughs> pretty easy to power up in general. Um, I'm thinking, actually, I might not even need that Scyther. I think what I'm going to do is put a Bulbasaur on the bench, evolve that into Ivysaur, just, just to just you know dump my hand out in general, and I think I'll skip the Machoke, because it's not a one energy attacker, and just Professor Oak. See what we can get out of that. That looks good to me. I'm not too concerned about overdrawing, you know, and being stalled out into Doom with this deck, because chances are, as I showed you with this strategy, it's going to be able to consistently wipe out uh, Pokemon turn after turn. Ho hopefully turn after turn. <laughs> um, put that on Bulbasaur and Slash. So now, here's another interesting scenario. If I'm powering up Pokemon, on the side here, and she decides to energy removal my threatening Scyther here, I will free switch into other Pokemon that can do damage to what she's got out. I like those apples. <laughs> so this very well could be one of the most effective decks I've made thus far. Uh, I don't know if I want to... I really don't know... I think I want to just do that. And finish off with a slash. Voila! Another prize card for me. Let's go! And Ghastly is not a no-show. I don't know why I want to rhyme it that <laughs> And so the paralysis hits. But! Now this is where the switch comes into play here. Because <laughs> remember... Well, I don't have switch right now, but I mean... Remember, I could free switch... I mean, into something else, and then switch back into Scyther if I wanted to. I can't right now, but... Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I could switch into a, from a Scyther to another Scyther, even. Uh, but for the, right now, I think what I'm gonna do is... Continue spreading out those energy cards. <laughs> More than anything. Call it a turn. And, ooh, computer search. Probably for some super energy removal shenanigans. Okay, maybe it's... I don't know, it could be Nightly Garbage Run. <laughs> oh, 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 there it is. <laughs> maybe it was Super Energy Removal. Right, it's gonna be my Scyther, right, 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 right? Yeah, I thought so. But I'm gonna be able to free switch into something anyway. So, unless I get... Per Pff, never mind. <laughs> unless I get paralyzed again, but I did. 
I did. So that means Scyther is going to be KO'd unless I get a switch. But that's alright. I can always do the dirty with something else. <laughs> um... Hmm... Actually... Yeah, I think I will do it on Ivysaur. And call it a turn. And as a result of me powering up Ivysaur there, I'm able to start nicking away at Ghastly very quickly. <laughs> so it's actually more than just a nick. I'm gonna plop that out. And I could just do straight up 40 damage, which I think I will do. But alternately, I'm gonna go and put out a Scyther and yeah, get that one powered up on the side. Preferably with double colorless through Professor Oak and stuff like that. Uh, got some more energy removal, I'm sure. Oh no, you don't? Interesting. Interesting. I think the reason why she doesn't have as many as she usually does, at least, at least it usually feels like it does, is because of the, uh, all of the issues of actually getting through attacks. So I'm usually stalled out, you know what I mean? Uh, well, in any case, now that I got a switch, check out what I can do with that. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean with this deck? So now I'm thinking I should probably pop that on Scyther to get ahead of stuff. Uh, I don't really even think I need the other Scyther at this point. I think I'll just go Professor Oak and continue into the pressure that I'm putting on here with this strategy. Uh, yeah, that'll, <laughs> that'll do pretty well. As a matter of fact... Check this out. Oh, and that's another reason... I, I forgot to mention this. Um, I didn't put in super energy removal because I wanted to have a lot of low energy attacks, so I wanted to always have energy on hand. So I didn't use super energy removal in this deck as a result of that. Just for the sake of uh, as much consistency as possible, since I got a lot of draw power in general to grab into the other Professor Oaks. I'm, I, well, Professor Oaks and energy removals, I should say. Uh, I'm gonna wipe that out, of course. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna retreat into Hitmonchan. Whoops. And we're gonna go try and power up Hitmonchan, because I can win on the next turn, assuming things go swell. So we're gonna go ahead. Oh, I got Switch as well. That's gonna be pretty nice in case things go awry. But primarily, I'm gonna go for the Special Punch, because of Kangaskhan's double weakness and difficulty in switching, so. We shall see. Oh! No energy removal on Hitmonchan means I win the game. As a matter of fact, we'll just... Oh! Shit. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna go on a special punch, but I forgot to attach the energy, and then I even select the wrong attack. I was getting ahead of myself here. But anyway, I still win. <laughs> it's one turn later, but I still win. Let's just finish her off. <laughs> Alright, uh, Imakuni is up next for the finale, which is always an epic finale when you get Imakuni. So let's go ahead and get that going. Alright! <laughs> the most powerful of opponents standing right before us with seven psychic energy. <laughs> that was just a weird, really weird shuffle. It usually has more. Twice in a row? I was gonna say, he usually has in our basic Pokémon, but, um... Um... That, 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 that's not showing there. Anyway, I'm gonna go... Uh, probably Bulbasaur. Got a whole load of Hitmonchan. I think I'll save one in my hand in case of Pokémon Trader. So... <laughs> anyway... The reason why I put Bulbasaur out was because... Uh, he typically uses psychic stuff, and yeah, I just figured that would be a little bit safer in general, depends on what the poop he's got there, so... I'll, I'll focus on powering up one of the two Hitmonchan to its max, and try and go for the Sweepy Sweepies, but we'll see if that actually ends up being necessary to do so. I might just get another Scyther or something like that, you know? <laughs> anyway... Oh, Professor... <laughs> Well, that could very well get me a Scyther. Um... I think I will just hold on to that, though, because I gotta 
decent amount of fighting energy for what I have out right now. So I'm just going to leave that and hope that I can attack with Bulbasaur with a Razor Leaf after I use Professor Oak. You know, I need a, another Grass Energy and stuff, so... Uh, but that would finish off Slowpoke. We shall see! Yeah, I got heads! So I'm still flipping coins in that regard, like if the opponent does stuff. But it's not, it's not like I'm flipping coins due to my own attacks! That's the idea of this deck. Anyway, that's Razor Leaf. And finish off the slow poke as promised. Voila! And that Meowth is gonna... It's gonna kinda probably be knocked out pretty quickly. <laughs> Just saying. And that was actually a terrible coin flip. It's like using Imakuni on yourself when you don't have Dark Prime Ape. <laughs> um, as a matter of fact, I don't even think I need to switch. Because... I'm just building up Professor Oak, because I really should use one. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, because the thing of Bulbasaur is, is going to attack and do, you know, it's going to knock it out in two attacks. It's kind of the same if I put out Hitmonchan at this moment in time anyway, so. As long as I select the right attack! So. <laughs> Alright. And it stays Betty Bye. So that means, chances are, I will be able to knock out that Meowth. And probably not. Gonna, it's probably gonna last until like until like all the prize cards are taken in general. Because even though I'm using aggro, it's still um, he, he still is gonna draw a lot up a lot more basics in the turns allotted. Basically, so we shall see though if we can actually win by not taking all the prize cards. I wouldn't count on it though. <laughs> the sleepy sleeps hits. And the headbutts also hits. Maybe I can get a. Uh, I was gonna say wake up or get an Ivysaur or something like that. That would be pretty nice. I'm, oh, that's right. I have the Ivysaur. Man, I am totally out of it, aren't I? Ah. Uh, since it's only doing 10 damage at a time, I should probably sneaky sneaky here at Leech Seed rather than Vine Whip. Hey, look at that! I'm playing smart. <laughs> uh, I'll get through this part. Despite the tiredness, I swear I'll get through this part. <laughs> uh, I'm not energy removal. That drowsy. I think I'm also gonna go. <laughs> it's got a whole bunch of hit much <laughs> just sitting out there. Uh... You know, either way, if I, yeah, I, uh, because. <laughs> Because it's going to take 10 more damage next turn anyway, it's, yeah, it just seems like a waste to do the, <laughs> the heal, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to go knock it out that way with the Vine Whip. And Long Distance Hypnosis is not being Imakuni's friend here, so that still kind of works out anyway, so... Oh... Ooh... Leech Seed. Because it's going to take two attacks to knock it out anyway, so there we go. <laughs> I'm saying anyway a lot here, but it's just, I'm thinking about all the situations and how it rolls out. So, so it's like every everything that he's got out right now is a two attacker, except Meowth, which I'm going to just switch over to Hitmonchan to finish him off when he has that. And... Yeah, I'll leave Seed. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it. Because I just want to get a little bit of extra health as long as I have the opportunity to. Because, uh, he's, yeah, he's, he's not really able to do all that much here, just in general, as you can tell by the energy. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do one more Leech Seed. I mean, I guess maybe it would have been better to perhaps knock out the Drowsy with the Vine Whip and just go straight over to the Hitmonchan, but at the same time, I didn't know if he was gonna draw another basic Pokémon, sort of like that. And it would just been a wasted effort, and I wouldn't have been able to get any sort of um, uh, what was wait, 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 ah, jeez, I'm just, I can't think of what I wanted to say. <laughs> it would have been a wasted effort to uh, ah, jeez, I'm tired. <laughs> um, yeah, it would have been a wasted effort to heal. I mean, excuse me, to not heal if he's just going to be able to put something out into play and then knock out Ivysaur, perhaps. That that was it. That was... 
Oh, jeez. I, I should just probably end off this part very quickly, shouldn't I? <laughs> anyway, he had to end this turn because of the computer error, so I'm just gonna special punch. <laughs> I just finished things off here. Just, just end. <laughs> oh, jeez. And there's my streak. It has increased. So, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty nice, consistent deck, I would say. Very, very simple in its build, but very, very consistent. Now, mail time. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I forgot to delete this from the other time. Let's go ahead and get ourselves that Moltres. Yeah, I caught that in editing. <laughs> what? I must have been thinking of the Moltres in my fire deck. And there is the special golem. We've seen that a bunch of times already. And roll out 20. Rock Blast, scaring up to five energy cards, attached to go off for each fighting energy card, discard, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon, do 20 to it. So, you just load up on that and possibly do 100 damage, if you want to, or not, so. <laughs> it is a nice card-ish. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. We're, we're getting that, we're getting that set up nicely ahead of time this time. And now we gotta go back over to the game center to... Ah, uh, the transition point, okay. <laughs> go back over to the game center and do another card trade. So let's go ahead and get our coinages back into our pocketeds. And... here we go. Alakazam is up next. We're gonna choose the most common cadaver we have, which looks like this one. There you go. That's going into the mailbox later, and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I've hopefully had a better nap. 